Okay, so a lot of people have asked how we are fitting our kids into their bedrooms. So they're pretty small. So this is the girls' room. Let me back up a little without falling down the steps. It's not very large. As you can see, their bed takes up most of the room. So four of our girls, yes, four of them sleep in this room. I had to count. So when you walk in, you have this. Flip the flipping shirt around because I didn't ask that person if they could be in this video. So, first you have this little bookshelf here. Ignore the water and the granola bar. They're not normally there. I told Brooke she helped me clean this room because it was a disaster. <laughs> I had by her Shopkins, so I was eating. Anyway, so they obviously have tons of books here. And then these things are like a lifesaver. They hold their baby dolls or whatever. We have more. I don't know where they are when we moved. I like misplaced some. We have Punxy Phil and Toto. The dog from Wizard of Oz. Help me out here, guys. And just more books. Shopkins. And more books. So... Yeah, this isn't very impressive, but that's where all that stuff is. Then their hair stuff is all up here. I have this thing about like semi-matching my curls. So you'll see a lot of things that are like the same, but in different colors. We have more American Girl dolls, but these two are chilling here. They have a huge toy bin full of tons of junk. Brooke actually just went through this and got rid of some stuff, believe it or not. Then the bed. Okay, so two of them sleep down here. I do not force them to sleep together. They did this forever. Like, this is just what they do. So Callie and Savannah are normally the two to sleep down here. So we just have all their bed stuff. Some blankies. And let's climb up here this is where Estella and Brooke sleep and they have I'm pretty sure these two like sleep with more stuffed animals than any child ever because they just have so many and they never complain about like sharing with their sisters they don't really care and over here they have this little area, Brooke's little Christmas tree that I was just informed is like naked, which I kind of agree with. Needs some love. They have a little tiny desk. I don't think anything is in this, but it could hold some stuff if they really wanted to. <laughs> that stuff confused me. I was like, oh, they have a little brush. Then here. I do know in the old house they had like some knickknacks in here, but I think they got rid of them. Those are the toys we're getting rid of. Then this was mine when I was little, hence it's saying Jessica. It is like the best thing in the world. It's a Barbie organizer. Everyone tells me it's a shoe organizer, but my parents ordered it through Barbie and it holds a bunch of random stuff like little babies and bracelets, a la la loopsie, some shopkins, and tons of Barbies. They have more than this, but these are the ones they play with often. Then the closet, because let's face it, you're all wondering how I got four girls worth of clothes in a closet. It is not the most pretty thing in the world. So this is like their summer clothes slash like stuff they don't wear often. This is Savannah's bin. Savannah slash Brooke because Brooke can fit in some of that. There's some baby dolls up there. Then they have like all their clothes here. These are like for each kid. So this is Estella's I believe. No, this is Callie's. This is Brooks. This is Estella's. That's Savannah's slash overflow of theirs because, you know, youngest in the room. And that's where pajamas go. 
There's just one pair right now. The other ones are in the washer. Then they have more clothes back here, all their winter jackets. This was actually the hardest part, getting all their winter jackets fit in here. It's a pain. And it just goes the whole way back there. And they have more stuff on the ground, because, you know, why not? But yeah, that's it. It wasn't that hard to fit them in here, which I'm surprised about. Yeah, that's the junk that was in the room that doesn't actually belong in here and has to go in the boys' room. But I'm very impressed. They do their best at keeping it clean. They are five and three, so they do what they can. And of course, the cat is like, what is this? Because the bed is never that clean. <laughs> But yeah, after I finish the boys' room, I will definitely do a tour of theirs. It won't be as impressive because there's only three of them. And honestly, fitting three boys in a room is much easier than four girls. But I think we do a pretty good job at it. If you like this video, thumbs it up. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, all that jazz. See you guys.